Ladies, lords, and manners of all ages, there's something a bit crazy brewing on the internet, really just building and gathering hype over recent times leading up to its current release, a new game developed by a solo developer that just promises such an interesting combination of mechanics and ideas and honestly genres that loads of people are just keenly interested in seeing the result of. So let's have a quick look at Manor Lords. This game is entering early access on Steam on April 26th, and is actually the current most wishlisted game on Steam as a whole. So this coming Friday, a floodgate will be opened and a whole bunch of people will be piling straight into it. And the best way of describing what it is in a nutshell for anyone who is completely unaware is a combination between a city builder and management game and a real-time strategy combat type game. But with the addition of also being based entirely in medieval realism type aesthetic and themes, which of course is quite an appealing concept then, right? So let's get into it in a bit more detail. From the original description that I gave of it, you may well be thinking that this is in quite an interestingly unique slice of mixing genres, but how does it lean then? Because obviously if there's only a little bit of city building or a little bit of RTS, it will appeal to different people as a result. Well, according to the developers themselves, this is not intended to be like a total war competitor or anything like that. It is mostly a city builder at its core and it has battles that are a part of it that are represented in an RTS system, but that's all supposed to be focused around the city building mostly. On top of that, for the most part, the battles that you'll be partaking in won't really really be heavily in your command, you will have control over it, obviously, but it will be simple for the most part, and it won't be with an army really per se either, so much as the actual population of your town will pick up arms and defend if you are attacked, and that population can die, and the specific people in your manor all have their own roles, so if one of them dies, it leaves their role then unfilled. The combat is less the main focus of the game, so much as it exists just to add extra tension to the actual city management side of the game, as having the wrong person person die at the wrong moment can really just sort of throw a wrench in your development plans completely for the near future. But that also makes it more almost realistic in a way, more like how the real world works, and definitely much more entertaining as a video game mechanic. Overall, this isn't supposed to be an overly stressful experience really, the developer wants it to be a nice, relaxing game that you can just sort of sink hours into and enjoying the aesthetics of it, and just the feeling of building up your city. And as far as the battles themselves, it's worth mentioning that there are people who have been able to play the game early and they've considered it to be a challenge to build a population of a thousand people. Most fights an average player will have will cap out around 100 versus 100 or something along those lines, so think of it in more of those size battles, because again, your fights are based around your population, and accurate to a medieval town or city, there's no like skyscrapers, no apartment buildings, so you're not going to have thousands of people fighting other people, so a thousand people is a really damn big city in this function, and so it is a struggle to reach that within the mechanics because that makes sense. That said, there are also further like to this as well. The map of the game is surprisingly large, given what I just went over, of course, but that is because there are various regions that you can have a city built within, and you can actually separately build cities within these different regions and then link them together with trade networks. But the idea is that the whole time your actual scope of management is quite small. There will be specific things that you can really dive into if you love efficiency and managing that specifically, and there will also be other things that you can aim for if you just love medieval city aesthetics, but at its core, this game wants you to feel actually involved, and wants the town population to be small enough that its members are memorable to you and also meaningful to your gameplay as a whole, so that when you do have to go into combat on occasion, it creates a sense of concern. It makes you worry for them because you actually have some sort of attachment to what they do for you in your system. That at any point, just a pivotal member of your community could be slain. On that note though, the combat itself is reportedly very simple, not trying to give you overly invasive control, as of course you aren't really controlling an army me, so much as it's just every member of your city, basic working people. You can have farmers, you can have merchants out there because that's just who's there. A cool bonus feature for this game as well is that you can just straight up walk around as your player character, the manor lord, and explore your city on foot. There's no actual mechanics with this as of yet, as far as I'm aware. It's more just a cosmetic feature, but I could totally see more being added into this as a function, in, at least through early access later on, if people are vocal about wanting it. But I digress regardless of that. I just think the idea of being able to explore your own creation of a city on the ground level is actually quite neat. The thing is, this game sounds absolutely incredible, right? It's really just a genuinely impressive conceptual mixing of a couple of very blendable genres and done in a way that clearly appeals to a hell of a lot of people. The polish on it is seeming quite good 
from an outside perspective at least leading up to early access and on top of that it is going to be in early access which means that there is a fair bit more to be added to the game before it will be considered finished and all that to say this was made by a solo developer and that is just absolutely mind-blowing to me with all of the attention that it's getting because of how cool it is i'm really excited to just dive into the game myself upon release and of course we'll have some videos covering it on the channel too if you guys are interested in that type of thing at all but this is mostly just to say hey this game is a thing and it is an absolutely awesome looking thing as well it's definitely worth at least a bit of attention it comes out in a few days and this is what it is and why i think it's worth some of your attention even if you end up deciding it's not your type of thing i think it's definitely worth pretty much anyone who plays video games getting your eyes on it either way to actually get to make that decision for yourself rather than having it to sort of slip by and go down the wayside i hope you've all enjoyed this end and of course if you want any specific manor lord style content any guides that you'd after specifically or questions that you want answered in the first few days of the game feel free to ask them down in the comments below this video and we will try to get you the answers pretty quickly as soon as the game is out like if you like the video subscribe to the notification bell for more and most importantly ladies and gentlemen until next time stay sweet Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye